Hello, in today's video we will be building a simple quiz web application using React, Firebase real-time database and deploy it using Firebase hosting. It should give you an idea on how you can quickly prototype some simple web applications and deploy it to be publicly available on the internet. So, let's jump into it. Okay, before diving straight into the code, let's take a look how our final project will look like. One thing to note, CSS and styling is not my area of expertise, therefore we will focus more on the functional side rather than look and feel. So, as you can see, we have a simple quiz application hosted on Firebase, it has navigation with the home page and start the quiz. The quiz consists of 10 randomly selected questions, after you finish the quiz you will see the results, how many out of 10 you answered correctly. So, that's what we will be building today, let's get started. Start off, you will need Node installed on your PC. You can get it by typing Node Download in Google and get the latest version from there. In case you need multiple versions of Node, you can use Node Version Manager for Windows, which allows you to install whatever version you want and switch between them as needed, just like that. Ok, if we have Node installed, we can go ahead and initialize our React.js project using create react app command, npx create react app followed by a project name, JS quiz in this case. Let's open the project and run npm start command, which will spin up the local instance of our app. And here we go, we have a standard React boilerplate project. Normally, when you are building an app or a new feature within an existing app, you build them incrementally. For instance, in this case, we would start building this project by displaying a single hardcoded question, implementing quiz functionality itself, like selecting an answer, displaying next hardcoded question, and finally, we would add Firebase integration to fetch the questions from real-time database and refactor our quiz to use those fetched questions. But to keep this video relatively short, we will be coding the final version from the very start. We can remove app.css, app.js, app.test.js and logo SVG files as we won't need them. Now let's install all the dependencies we will need. React Router DOM for navigation, Material UI Core for ready to use UI components, React Code Box to display fancy code blocks with syntax highlight, Firebase for Firebase integration, Lodash for some utility functions like get random elements from array. Let's create JS config.json file with base URL property. It will enable us to use absolute imports in our projects. Moving on, our app entry point index.js. Let's wrap our app component with material UI theme provider. And update our app import. Create theme.js file for material UI. It's styling related, so I will just paste it right away and we can move on. Create containers and components folders. Containers are components that take responsibility for the way things work, and components are simple presentational components for displaying actual data. Now let's create index files for our main components inside those folders. Ok, time to add navigation. Before jumping into quiz implementation, we need to create a Firebase project and fill the database with our JavaScript questions. To create one, go to Firebase console and press create a project. Enter your project name, accept terms and conditions and your Firebase project will be ready in a few seconds. To register our quiz application to Firebase, press the web icon, give it a name and we are ready to integrate Firebase to our app. It also suggests installing Firebase Tools CLI, which will be needed later on to host our app. Let's go ahead and do that. To 
to integrate the Firebase, we will need a Firebase config, which can be found in Project Settings. Create Firebase app.js and initialize the Firebase app with the config from the Project Settings. Next step, set up our database. We will start with the test mode security rules. It basically allows everyone to read or write to our database. But before going to production, you should adjust them to protect the database. Now let's create a simple script that will read the questions from the JSON file and upload them to our Firebase real-time database. This is our JSON with all the questions. I will leave a GitHub repository link in the video description where I found those questions. Now let's create the script. Run the script. As you can see, the database was populated successfully. Create question service which will handle database fetching logic. Since we won't have thousands of questions, we will fetch all of them at once, cache them and later on return random 10 from cached questions. In order to fetch from Firebase real-time database, we, we create a ref with the location where our questions were uploaded. Once in this case indicates that we don't need real-time updates for our data. Data returned from the ref will be an object, so we will transform it to array. Last step, a method to return random 10 questions. Additionally, let's shuffle the choices. Now, let's modify our quiz index. Define our state hooks. Fetch random 10 questions in use effect hook. Now take the current question and pass it as a prop to questions component. Create questions component. This component will also need a function to call when user selects an answer. Let's create that in quiz container. And pass this function to questions component. Let's just jump to questions component once again. Add some styles. Define our state. Let's render it. Lastly, we are missing on choice select function and use effect hook to reset selected choice and disable choices when data changes. Okay, last missing piece is rendering the next question and showing the result in the end. Let's do that. And here we go, we have our simple quiz application. The very last step, deploy to Firebase Hosting.
build that and run Firebase deploy. It's that simple. And voila. That's it for today guys, if you have any feedback or questions please leave them in the comments down below and see you on the next one.